Hi everyone, it's Karen, and I'm here with the beginnings of a new project. I have no business starting new projects because I have oodles of ongoing projects, but hey, why not? So, I stumbled across, again, a video by Nicole from, I never get these the right order, Relax cut glue and hers and some other videos where they were doing a color themed glue book. Now I have a few glue books in process right now. I think I have three, two or three of them that are partly done, but I'm ready to start a new one. I just want to focus on just color and go from there. So I just took an old composition notebook. See, I keep everything. I started this in 2016, so <laughs> getting closer to 10 years ago. What I did was I had a few pages that I had done something with, so instead of having 100 sheets, I ended up, I pulled out a handful that at the front had writing on the back, so I just pulled the blank pages out from the back, and I will use those somewhere else. We'll figure that out later. Not not a problem for today. So I'm going to start up a new glue book. So with this one, I have, I took out 14 pages, so I have 86 pages. And what I want to do is the same type of way that I've seen others do, and particularly that I've seen the way Nicole's done hers, is putting two pages together. So I will have a total of 43 pages once I I washy the edges on every pair of pages. So that doesn't work through an even number of pages for each project or for each color. Typically if you have a hundred you would do ten you could do ten colors with five pages each or eighty pages I'd have four colors each. I'm gonna mix and match that. So I'm gonna have three colors it'll have five pages and the rest will have four pages. So that should work if my math works. I might end up off kilter by the time I get to the end. So I have my different washi tapes and my ten colors. So I'm going to do pink. I haven't decided which one. This one leans almost a little bit more purple. I'll probably use this, this pink. Red orange, yellow, green, I haven't decided, I think I will use this one. And I'm just going to do all of them for each color in the same page. I'm going to do teal, that's sort of teal, blue, blue will be one of the pages that gets extra. Oh, and red will be one of the pages that gets an extra page. Um, blue is an extra. Purple, black, or black and grays, and then browns. So the blacks will get an extra page, blue will get an extra page, and red. And what I'm going to do is I'll tape two pages together all the way through. And yeah, so I'm going to use this one for the pink. I can find the end of it. Maybe I won't be doing this one if I can't find the end. Seriously, how can I not find the end? I shouldn't have cut my fingernails before I started this project. Okay, I see why, because it's all wonky. It's crooked, that's why. So carefully make sure I have only two pages. Tuck one of those underneath just for and I'm going to take my chances and not glue 
the pages. Is that one quite sticky? <laughs> Probably not even in frame there. And then because I cannot find my corner um, flipper thing, those are technical terms, I will just take my scissors and call it close enough. If you've watched many of my videos, you know I am definitely not a perfectionist. So instead of boring you to tears and doing each of these pages one at a time and showing you each and every one of them, I will go and do these off camera and I'll come back and I'll show you once I have all the edges done. At some point I will likely cover this up because this is just too too loud. <laughs> so I shall be back in a little bit and I will show you what it looks like once I have all my pages put together or the edges tacked together. See you in a bit. Alrighty, so I'm back again. I have gone through, I'll cover that up. I've gone through and I've added all the washi to the edges. So brown, black, purple, blue, teal, green, yellow, orange, red, and pink. Now what I'm going to do next is I want to have some background color on these pages. And I've done the pages, the two sealed together on the edge. So if necessary later I will tack that down or not. So what I want to do is put some background color on some of the, the pages. And I'm going to do that with scrapbook paper on some of the pages and images from magazines on some of the other pages. So I have several scrapbooks and I'm going to pick some that have the relatively, well, these pages are medium, but I want to choose ones that are a little bit on the thinner side but there's some really good pages for some backgrounds. And again, I have several of these, these books. Might do this one for one of the pages with black. Might not be as many. I might do one of, well, I don't know if I'll do that for pink. We'll see. Maybe for green. I'm going to do this one for one of the black pages, for sure. I might do one of those for the black page. I'm going to put one of these for the yellow. So it doesn't have to be like a bright, bright yellow. And then I'll end up with extra pages or extra paper along the way. Some, oh rats, it doesn't quite fit all the way across. 
But what I'll probably do is just trim it down, use my paper trimmer, trim it down, and use some of the excess to fill in some of the extra space here. So I think that's what my plan will be. See if I can do this without messing it up. And if it's not perfect, that's fine. Oh, I really screwed that up. <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy. That's more like it. And so some of these I might do them where I will use my paper trimmer. Some of them I'm just going to do like this and just take take the edge and just tear it like so. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then we'll find where the top is. That's a little easier. That'll work. And I don't know if I'll bother matching it on both sides of the page in multiple places or if I'll do something different. We'll decide. We shall decide that along the way. It's not bad if that's the only thing left over from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So there we go. 
first page is background is done and yeah, it does hold together nicer now that it's got more a lot more stability now that the background page is on there so I don't think it's going to make a difference that it's open at the top and bottom especially once we add something to the other side so there we go one page background added and I shall continue adding more on there and I will come back and show you another video I'll call it quits on this one for today and I will be back after I've added more pages in here and then we'll see once we start adding all kinds of little glued images in here. Alrighty, thanks for watching. I will see you again soon.